Hi, in today's video, we're going to talk about external storage for your NVIDIA Shield. I found a great SSD. It's the ADATA SD600. This is the 480 gigabyte version. We're going to show you how to install it, expand that internal storage so that you can do more downloads, add more apps, and not run out of space. And I'm talking mostly when you have the 16 gigabyte version. It fills up pretty fast. I was doing fine until we put uh, Plex on. Once we put that on, space became a, a problem. So that's why we purchased this. We're going to plug it in today, show you how it looks, how it works, and see if uh, all the apps and things still load and stream quickly, if there's any lag and things. Uh, shouldn't be, this is saying it's uh, 440 megs uh, read and write, it's supposed to be super fast. So stay tuned, we're going to uh, get this thing going and uh, show you how it works. Okay, so we're on the shield and we're going to go under settings, scroll down to device preferences, And storage. We're going to go plug in our SSD. I've got the SSD plugged in. It's in a cabinet, so it's hard to take a, a shot of it here with the camera. But if you notice, it's showing immediately up on the shield here a data SD600Q. Let's go ahead and select that. Reject informant as device storage. We want it to be device storage. Going to format it, scroll down, choose that. The drive will not be usable until the data is moved, so I guess we're going to move it. Internal shared storage 12, 473 of the 480 available on the USB that we just put on there. Okay, so it looks like it put 600 megs worth of apps over here. Got some cache. Still got 472 available. Okay, that came out just fine, just as fast as it would prior to installing the drive. I'm going to open Plex now, we'll see how fast that loads. Okay, let's hit the music tab. Came up pretty quick. Movies. Yep, loading great. So from a real quick uh, look at things just after installing the drive and looking at how things are loading, no difference. Everything looks like it's going just fine. And uh, I definitely would recommend popping one of these in if you're running out of space on your shield. And literally, as you saw, it didn't take but maybe two, three minutes for me to plug it in, uh, select the drive, move the data and allow it to uh, perform the move and basically pop right on here. All the apps are opening just fine. Thank you for watching the video today. If you have questions or comments, post them down below. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you found the video helpful, share it with others. Feel free to subscribe. And of course, have a great day. And thanks again for watching.